guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and I am at the North Carolina map in the Heron River, and as with the Missouri map and all the other maps, there have been a lot of changes with update 0.3.2, I think is it is now. Anyway, guys, I'm still doing my largemouth bass series with bait and spin casting. Um... But first, before I do anything with that, I want to show you how things have changed a little bit here on this particular map. As you'll notice, there are actually four instead of three pegs, what used to be called pegs. Now they're actually teleport locations. Uh, you can teleport to this one, of course, is into the Rocky Blue. And then there's the great parking job that you're familiar with. The Woody Enchantment, and now a new one called Rubble of Old Times. So this is a new area. And we're going to come here because I wanted to show you... Basically show you around. Some of this stuff is pretty cool. Now this is all new. And the Woody Enchantment is actually right over there. And we are actually on the other side of where we've been fishing for... I don't know if you can see that right there. But that's where we've been fishing for the uh, red ear. As a matter of fact, that big metallic building, there it is. You can now see it up close. Some kind of old shed or something. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if you can get any closer to it or not, but... Nope, that's about as close as you can get. <laughs> anyway. But let me take you around here, because before we do any fishing this is the rubble of old times sheds up there if you slide down here you can see that rock facing that we've dealt with before and then there's the woody enchantment now if we go this way I think that's the only place we can go. There's a new fishing spot over here that I've not seen. But this is a real good spot too, honestly. Oh wow, you can really go quite far up here too. That's nice. I have not fished there yet. So, anyway guys, sorry about that. My wife had a phone call. I'm going to keep looking around here. I don't think I can go any further, so I th might have to go... Well, maybe not. I might not have to go to a new only peg. Let's see here. Or teleport point. Okay, this is the new rocky area. And if you come around through here, just like this, this is kind of cool. Here's another good fishing location on the opposite side. And you can actually walk across the logs here, which I don't think... I... Alright, I had a little sound issue there. Anyway, as I was trying to say, this log that goes across here allows you to cross. The only problem I have is, why can't you fish here? <laughs> I mean, if in real life, that's, I would be right here fishing. But yet, no rods come up. I don't know, that's the only issue I have with this particular area. Anyway, I'm going to go back over to here. And you'll notice that this is the original place where we were fishing before. Right there is where we usually fish for the red ear and it's pretty cool. It goes all the way around. And there's another good spot. And if you go all the way over here this is, see, this is the great parking job area, right? I don't know if you can, you probably can't see it as well from here, but that's the car right over there. 
you'll be able to see it when you come here. There it is. Yep. Everything's connected and you can walk to everything. This is so very cool. There's what you're familiar with seeing. Great parking job. And then we come over here and there's Woody Enchantment. Now I think Woody Enchantment's probably the location that most people have been catching largemouth bass from. But I bet you didn't know that there's a real good spot. Let me get there a little quicker this way. I bet you didn't know you could catch them right here. And you can. Now let me get our lure ready here. We're going to start with the silver lure because that seems to be the best for this particular time and for a sunny day. But if you throw this lure right here, oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> right here. This is an excellent spot for catching largemouth. There we go. I have had a lot of luck with these guys right here. Alright, let's get this guy in. There you go. That's a one half ounce casting spoon, silver. Usually have a lot of luck with the silver spoon, especially on sunny days. Now I'm going to try this jig if it's not too small. Eh, maybe too small. Yep, it's too small. I'll try the larger jig. See if we can't get us one with a jig. Same spot. And I'm going to try a lift and drop. If it doesn't work, nope. Didn't have to take long, did I? Yeah, I've heard Delacaba call this weapon Y before. <laughs> Yeah, these fish are fighting a lot more than they used to, that's for sure. They definitely made them fight better. I'm pretty sure this is probably just a regular size one, but I think he's a good size. But he is definitely not one to come. There we go. They're in there. Thank on it. There he is. Yeah, sometimes I think you just have to fight him quite a bit here. Now, this is probably a normal sized one. Good size, though. I'm determined to get that big one again. If I don't get him on this lure, I'm going to try a crankbait. Because they love the crankbait that looks like crawfish. See what I mean about this spot? I don't know what it is, but 
It is a hot spot. That's all I can say. Okay, this fish is good size. I'm just going to fight him. I'm going to keep the tension up as much as I can. I do have to watch my length. I only have 282 feet, so I don't want to let him go too far. My understanding is these guys start to tire after a while, so you just gotta stick with them. He's still fighting. He's, he's one tough fish, one tough fish. But he is coming. Now, if you notice on those meters, they're only about halfway for the line, halfway for the rod, so it's not straining it too bad. And of course the reel is only <laughs> real low. This is a real good reel. So it's not wearing and tearing on it too much. Wow, this is really a tough fish. He is giving me a fight. But I really don't want to get that tension up too much because after I've had I've had these guys break this line way too easily. They said they were supposed to tire out, and this one's not. <laughs> he is not tiring. Okay, there he goes. He's coming in a little bit now. He's giving me one more fight. There you go. Trophy largemouth bass. 5.118 pounds. 19.657. We'll just round that up to 20 inches. That is a nice fish. Let's get a good shot of him with the sun behind him. Or in front of him. Okay. keep that dude anyway guys right there that is I have fished all along here and I've caught a few I've caught a few like right here but you usually get mostly small mouths yeah there's lots of small mouths right here but that's not what we're going after now I'm gonna try one more thing with the crankbait and then I'm gonna call this done Okay, apparently this is not going to cast with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off of here and put this onto here. Because I've had some luck with this particular rod. Alright. Let's see if this guy, these guys like crankbait over here. crankbait I just want to reel it in kind of slow there it is Holy crap, what is this? I knew he was out there. He was interested. But I couldn't have that tension up too high.
crap. What is this? Another trophy largemouth? Must be. Okay, he is taking off with this. <laughs> Come on, fish. Okay, he's starting to tire a little bit. Yeah, I want to see him. Anything that could snap that line that easily. Must be impressive. big one. God, I love these fish. So pretty. Anyway, guys, that is here at this location right here called Into the Rocky Blue, and that is the prime spot for catching these guys right at that log. Now this is also an excellent spot for a bunch of other types of fish, but that's where you catch the largemouth. Anyway guys, I've got to go and I will be back to fish in another location at this particular map as soon as I can. So until then, I will see you later. Bye bye.